Well, both the New York Times and Lonely Planet have named Canada the number one country to visit in 2017. Joining us now to talk more about this and some of Canada's top destinations is Jennifer Weatherhead Harrington, editor-in-chief for Travel and Style magazine. Thanks for joining us, Jennifer. Thank you for having me. So this me. is a great story. My first question, like, who did this? Is it us saying that we're great? No, I mean, typical Canadians were a little bit modest exactly. when it comes to that. So it's actually Lonely Planet, New York Times have named Canada as the number one travel destination for 2017, which is a huge feat for this, Canada. This is great. So what makes us so great all of a sudden? Well, Canada's been kind of buzzing on the travel scene for a little bit, but most recently, I think everyone in the world is starting to realize that we're a vast country. We have amazing diverse cities and we have so many natural wonders that you can see. And with Canada's 150th birthday, it's kind of really put us on the map right That is now. great. So all kinds of celebrations planned as well. That might exactly. be part, is that part of the reason why this is the best yeah. place to visit in yeah, 2017? Yeah. It is definitely one of the reasons why the entire world is looking at us right now. 150 is an amazing number. It's so big. It's so great. Very true. Um, and in, in addition to that, all of the national parks in Canada are offering free access. So that's great for tourists, but also for Canadians. So for, for, let's say you want to be a tourist in your own country, what are some of the things that you would suggest we should do to check out? Because I'm sure a lot of us haven't even really seen a lot of our own country. It's true. That's actually a really good point. A lot of Canadians haven't sort of made it from coast to coast. It's such a big country, right? So it's hard to do that. But you definitely want to be checking out those national parks. Mm -hmm. Free access to places like Banff, one of the most Instagrammable spots in the country, right. Lake Louise. All the Instagram stars are going there and taking incredible pictures. Um, Ottawa is also amazing right now. Obviously, all the celebrations, but not just in the summer. They're going to have celebrations throughout the entire year. Going on to the East Coast, you want to look at PEI. If you're a history buff and you want to get into that Canadian culture and the history, the Confederation Center is a great spot. It's known as the birthplace of Canada. Wow, and it's in PEI. In PEI. And then you can also tag on New Brunswick and Nova Scotia and do a lovely East Coast road trip, too. Excellent. So we have a new prime minister as well who's mm -hmm. pretty popular around the world. Does he help as far as the popularity of, of, of this country? He definitely does. I think the entire world is looking at Canada as this positive place, and that sort of really draws people. They want to go and have wonderful experiences when they're traveling. They want to have great stories to tell and beautiful images. And I think Justin Trudeau has done a really good job at sort of putting Canada on the spotlight. You know, I looked at the top ten. I saw Ethiopia number ten on the list. Were there any other countries that kind of stuck out for you when you when you looked at the top ten list? Yeah, I would say Peru actually stuck out to me. Um, Peru is been sort of a spot that a lot of people want to get to lately but what was mainly highlighted in the New York Times article was the Sacred Valley so it's the spot that you want to hit before you get to Machu Picchu you really brush up on the Inca history taste that delicious Inca food the valley is beautiful it's stunning and then you're prepped and ready to hike up that mountain do you get to go to pretty much all these countries that are on this list because I know you've been I try to you've traveled quite a bit yeah I've been to about 60 countries and you, you think Canada is the best I do. <laughs> you have Obviously. To say that, of course you. All right, Jennifer, thanks so much for coming in. Thank we appreciate you. this. Take care.